What up, watch peeps? I don't mod as much these days as I used to. I might even go so far as to say I've been trying to cut back on modding, but no matter how hard I try, it just keeps pulling me back in. And one of the shortcomings in modding had always been the availability of really interesting aftermarket dials, and they almost all had subpar loom. Well, along has come a group of guys who felt the same and decided to take matters into their own hands, start producing some really cool dials with great loom under the name Firefly. So let's take a look. I'm Pete, and we are Chillin' With Watches. Wrist check. We're in the SSC of, of course, of course I am. I still cannot get enough of this watch. Really love it, really enjoying it. Pretty awesome little piece. But let's talk about what we have here today. So Firefly comes to us from a group of five guys who use an Instagram account called Cinco Mentes Horology, which I think means five minds. Now I'm most familiar with JD. I think I've followed and talked to him on Instagram for a really long time. You might recognize the name from the Traveling Watch Project. But they just dropped a new dial, this one here. It is a Dirty Dozen inspired dial. And they go by Firefly for their the branding on their dials. Now this one I think is really cool, very classic kind of field watch or military inspired design with the railroad track on the outside arabics great hand selection here on this build by the way uh let's talk about the case real quick now this case i know they did have a run of these made there was only like one last last one left last time i talked to them so i'm assuming they're probably sold out on these cases this wasn't really the primary focus they are all about the dials but i think they were kind of thinking about maybe doing another run of these cases should they um i guess if the interest was high enough but i really like the dial what's cool about these is and we'll have to take a look is the loom on them is fantastic it has bgw9 on i think it's on the i forget if it's on the arabics and then the outer markers on the railroad track are done in c3 so everything is bright and colorful and I just think really cool. I even like their logo. I think it's a fantastic little logo. Minimal dial text, automatic 24 joules dial shock. So, you know, dial text kind of specific to Seiko's. Now they have it in this 36 millimeter case here, which is pretty cool. I happen to have a 39 millimeter case here. I have slated for another project. So maybe we'll throw it in, throw this in here real quick, just for you guys with 36 is too small so we can see what it looks like. Hope the guys at Cinco Mentes Horology don't mind. They know I'm a professional modder. <laughs> so now originally they had a dial that came out before this and it was a full loom, more of an explorer style, style dial. I'll throw a picture of it up here on the screen. And both of them, very cool. That one I think used C1 loom, says so right on the dial there. But look at the fantastic loom on that thing. So yeah, what do you say we take this out of here and let's check it out in the 39 millimeter case. Oh, this one's neat, it's a push-pull crown. So very easy to manipulate and use, very easy to wind on the fly. Came on, they, they sent it in in this uh, Haviston canvas, but I've seen this dial used in all sorts of different cases. You could put it in a diver. It would be just fine. Still protective plastic on the case back there. But uh, this case is actually pretty sweet. I do like the um, proportions on it, the bezel to the dial, the thickness, the case size. I've seen a lot of 36 millimeter cases that are kind of awkward. The Ryu, Ryu one on eBay was never originally made for Seiko, so you can fit the movement in there, but it's really tight. It's hard to get them back out. So this one is actually pretty nice, but you know, the star of the show for these guys is their dials. All right, got the case back off their case, no problem. If you guys don't know about it, these rubber balls are the best first option for removing case backs. They work purely on friction and it will work most of the time. You don't have to resort to using a tool that could potentially scratch your case back or not. So we got the guts out nice and easy. There's a movement holder holding it in the case, but it came out so much easier than any other 36 millimeter cases I've used before. So what we're gonna do now is toss it in this 39 millimeter case. I'm not gonna complete this build or anything. I'm just gonna stick it in there so we can get an idea of what it will look like at a slightly larger size. So here you can see I have it in a 39 millimeter case. 
again, a pretty similar style case, just slightly larger. I have this, this is actually the Scurfa strap on. I just happen to have it sitting here. These are really nice rubber, whatever they are. There you go, genuine rubber. But I think they're, um, because of their plainness, they're kind of versatile. They're not just for dive watches, but I think this dial looks really cool in this 39. Here's the 36 it came in, just if you want a comparison. Mostly you get a little bit wider of a bezel. I actually have this case slated for another one of my wacky quartz builds. I'm going to be putting, I don't know if you guys can tell what that is. This is one of those poker table dials. So I'll be making a video on that too, but check this out. This is super cool. I love the way this looks. I'm going to show it to you on real on our wrist real quick before we get to the loom. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Man, I like this a lot. I actually really dig it on this strap. I'm gonna maybe use this for some other build that I have going on here. But yeah, you can see 39, 36, both awesome. Super cool dial. This case actually reminds me a lot of one of my favorite Vostok cases, the 100 case, or is it 110? Um, they're very similar in size and appearance. And I should mention that these Firefly dials, they um, they are a size that is compatible with Vostok. So you could use them in Vostok builds as well. There's no Vostok feet, so you'd be using dial dots, but you definitely could get that job done. That would be super cool. I might have to give that a try myself, actually. I think that would be pretty awesome. All right, so these dials, both this one, the full loom, and this new kind of Dirty Dozen inspired military field watch dial. They're available now. I'll put a link in the description to their Instagram account. You can DM them for details, but cool guys, cool dials. Let's check out the loom. Keep the loom. So check this out, guys. I love the loom on this. This definitely addresses one of the issues I've had with a lot of aftermarket dials. This thing has great loom. You can see there the blue glow from the Arabics using BGW9. You can see those outer markers and even the logo on the middle, the Firefly logo that I love so much is loomed. Both of those are all done in C3, which is nice, bright. Both of these long lasting looms. So these are fantastic dials. Definitely consider these for your mod projects. So these are some cool dials from a cool group of guys. I love that they hit us right out of the gate with a standout full loom dial. Then they dropped a classic on us with a two-tone loom twist to it. Keep an eye on these guys because I have heard that there is a diver style dial in the works. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. I'm wearing my Jordan 3s. I tried to win the pine green 3s, didn't, got salty, and just decided to start wearing the crap out of these instead. All right, that's it. I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, please like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.